With an old Russian rocket launcher on his back, this man looks like a Taliban. But this column moving along the Helmand River is part of the Afghan National Army. And to avoid any confusion and friendly fire, the troops must remain in constant radio contact. Don't go too close to the river. But that's easier said than done. Do you read me? I understood that I had to cross the river. What I saw is, I saw two elements, they don't have even radio contact or eyes contact with you. They don't know where you was, and they was not able to say me where you was. Captain Christian is a French instructor with the 205th Corps of the Afghan army, a battalion formed and trained by the French to fight the Taliban. In first, one platoon, this one with the lieutenant about how to shoot with the M16. Look. Slow. Respiration. No good. Look. Shoot. Okay, good. Good guys. In their almost nine years here, the coalition forces have seen the Afghan army grow and progress. But the troops remain under NATO's orders. They aren't ready to operate on their own quite yet. Today our army is still weak. We are not sufficiently equipped. Our vehicles are not armored, and even our guns malfunction. There is no air support, no way to evacuate our wounded. President Barack Obama has said that U.S. troops will begin withdrawing from Afghanistan as of next year. But he might have spoken too quickly. The Afghan army is still struggling to provide security for its people.